Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for uh, Capricorn. Uh, what do they want from you? This is going to be for your October 2022 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look at someone that's recently coming back into your life or someone that you're currently still dealing with. We're going to see what this person wants from you. Okay, and then we'll finish off the, uh, the read to see uh, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life or that you continue moving forward with this individual. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Like I said, it could be a new person, a current person, an uh, old person, okay? Uh, you could switch the roles if you want, like I said. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below, okay? So um, Capricorn, let's get started. Tell me about Capricorn here. The person that is coming back into Capricorn Capricorn's life or the person that uh, Capricorn is currently dealing with. What does this person want from Capricorn? What does this person want from Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn for October 2022. We have the Eight of Wands, okay? We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the uh, Nine of Cups. I feel like someone here wants to communicate to tell you that they're in love with you. Okay, um, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have the Ten of Swords. Wow. We have the Hangman, Piscean Energy, and the Chariot. Whoever this is, I feel like this person has made you wait. I feel like one of the reasons why that this person has made you wait is because this person hasn't really gone, um, hasn't uh, healed from uh, a betrayal that they've been through here in the past and i feel like they're trying to release that and move forward here okay um so they could have been really shifty with their energies here okay so the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces okay and the eight of wands here you could have those energies in your chart too capricorn um the uh nine of cups here and the ten of swords and then we have the hangman piscean energy and a chariot cancer energy Okay, could be dealing with any of those energies. Lots of water energy here. Okay, so yeah, so I feel like someone here wants to tell you that they're in love with you. Okay, uh, you know, I feel like they want to move forward with you. I feel like they want to surrender and just sort of go with it and just see what happens. Uh, tell me about this uh, Eight of Wands here. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Why is this Eight of Wands here? Okay, we have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles here. So Gemini Virgo with the Magician. Seems like we have someone here that feels like they have what it takes, okay? I do feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's really generous and, and giving and nurturing here. Uh, the thing is, I feel like one of the things that really held them back is this Ten of Swords energy here, okay? The uh, Nine of Cups, we have the Star, Aquarius energy, the Ten of Swords, and the Fool here. Maybe you felt like they betrayed you or something like that too, but you know, I just feel like we have someone here that's trying to go with the flow just to see what happens. I feel like we have someone here that doesn't really have any expectations or too high of expectations, but we have someone here that really cares about you, okay? I feel like we have someone here that's gonna take take a risk, take a leap here, even though they're still going through something, okay? It seems like they're still healing from a past situation here, all right? Tell me about the uh, hangman. So Aries energy with the fool could also be Aquarius. We have the queen of pentacles, the chariot, and the page of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be dealing with another Capricorn here. But it seems like we have someone here that's making you an offer, okay? An offer for commitment here. It just, there's an energy of surrendering it just to see where things go. Yeah, just, you know, having like not too much high of an expectation. I'm sure there is some sort of expectation here, okay? But it's, I, I just feel like it's just not, you know, insanely high um, because I feel like there's an energy of not rushing here. Yeah, you see, I feel like there is a past situation that your person hasn't really uh, uh, gotten over yet, all right? Uh, I feel like this person's pretending like everything's okay, but it really isn't. 
um, just so you know, if the person's still going through something, uh, do you, do you want to take this person on? Because this person's coming in with a lot of baggage, okay? A lot of baggage. Uh, tell me um, more. Uh, what will happen if Capricorn allowed this person back into their life or if Capricorn continued moving forward with this individual here? We have the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy. We have the uh, Five of Cups here. Hmm. You know, it could be a situation that you could feel disappointed here or that this person, you know, might feel like they, they're letting you down. I'm getting a bit of a codependency energy with this Empress here. I feel like this Empress should be in the reverse. Tell me about the star. We have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this, this is an individual that's extremely wounded here. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be an indication that we have someone here that's still very angry at the past here. Okay, and I feel like this anger, this person could be taking their anger out on you. Okay, I feel like the anger, the emotions, it's being misdirected here. Okay, tell me more. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Yeah, I just feel like this person does not want to revisit this or that this person doesn't want to think about this anymore, the past, and they want to move on here. One of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, I feel like this person's trying to heal, but I feel like this person might be a bit of a, a anxious avoidant here. So I feel like this person avoids problems or that this person has a hard time solving them or, you know, addressing them. I really feel like that Empress should be in the reverse. I'm going to flip it over. I, I keep hearing reverse it, reverse it, okay? So I feel like this person could be very controlling, a bit stifling, very smothering, okay? This person needs a lot of, a lot of reassurance. Uh, tell me about the uh, Empress in the reverse here in the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's going to take some time for this person to really get over this disappointment here. But it's their process here. You know, the thing is, it's, it's, it's up to you whether you want to take this on or not, because it could be a lot for you. There's Right now, there's just a lack of balance in this person's life. Um, you know, I feel like this person can be a bit emotionally imbalanced here because, uh, you know, that's why I feel like this person takes out their anger here on you. Um, I also feel like this person snaps really easily. I just feel like this person doesn't have a lot of patience. So I feel like when it comes to this situation, when it comes to themselves, it, this person tends to like to take shortcuts, okay? Uh, and you and I all know that when it comes to healing, there are no shortcuts. You have to go through it the hard way. Uh, the two of wands and the nine of wands, or that you completely avoid it. I mean, it's up to you. it's up to this person, or like I said, you could switch the roles if you want, or it's up to you because it's your prerogative. Uh, you could you know you could heal and you know become enlightened and you know transcend, or that you could just you know blow up your life some more. Okay, the uh, uh, the Queen of Wands here in the reverse. Okay, with the King of Swords here, Libra, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're going to make a decision to sort of cut this out because I feel like this could be too much for you, Capricorn, to handle. Yeah, I just feel like you might go cold on this individual. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Strength card, the Six of Swords here, and the Nine of Swords. It seems like we have someone here that's really having a, uh, you know, just really is unable to move on from this because I feel like they're really stressed out here. I look at that, you know, with the ten, three of swords here, I just feel like this person's in a lot of pain. Yeah, this person's in a lot of pain. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.